What is up YouTube? This is Taylor Moss here from Everything in the Sun and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add bones to a mesh and or they are called armatures in Blender. I'm um, just going to be showing you guys a basic little stick person and how to add bones to him so you guys can do it to your own nice looking meshes. Alright, uh, so the first thing we'll need to do is I guess we'll need to make a little man. So I'll just add myself a cube and um, I'll scale it down just a bit and it should be all right next I'll go into tab mode and Z and I'll just select these bottom four vertices now when I say basic man I really do mean basic um, <laughs> uh, just gonna make a little neck here If you guys have any questions on how to um, do any of these little things I'm doing right now, uh, you guys could check out my Blender Basics tutorial I made. Um, it just basically shows you how to just move around Blender and how to do basic little things like extrude and make arms and whatnot. Alright, so uh, my guy is looking pretty sweet, I know. Um, so I'm just going to keep on finishing him. Um, and like that. All right, so now that we have our little guy here, he's looking pretty fresh. Uh, we can press Z to get out of the wireframe mode. Uh, let's switch back to object mode or by pressing tab, you can switch between them. And let's add ourselves a modifier. Let's go to subdivision surface. And let's do three levels of subdivision. Uh, hit apply and then hit smooth. So now we, now we got a nice little guy. He looks, he looks pretty sweet. He's a little fat on his arms, but you know, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Alright, so uh, now let's get to the main part of this video, which is the armatures. Um, so what an armature is, is just a bone in Blender, and what it lets you do is it lets you move the bone, and it moves the mesh with it. So if we just type in armature, uh, it will come up here, and we'll just go over here. Uh, when it's first off, it's upside down, so press R, Y, 1, 8, 0 to flip it 180 degrees, and make sure it is directly in the center of his head. In fact, I'm going to go into the sphere to make sure. All right. Uh, the main thing about armatures is you have to stay in the right spot. You cannot go outside or anything because it gets sometimes confusing when you're working in a 3D space. So you press tab to go to edit mode. You can click on the top or bottom point of any armature. And from here, if you press E, it'll let you extrude it. I'm going to press Z to make sure I stay on that Z axis. And now Y. Whenever I do armatures, I kind of go make sure it's right in the center and then only um, mess with the Y and e Z axis. That way I don't really ever have to deal with popping out of my person. Uh, so just kind of make arms and then um, after that make a, make a nice big torso body. And you can see it a lot better if you zoom in here. Um, this now like I said before um, this doesn't have to be perfect um, this is I always just kind of do a really rough like sketch type scenario just to get all of the parts on there um, and it really doesn't matter if they're absolutely perfect they just have to not pop out anywhere you get some really weird situations all right so now that that's done we can press tab to switch to object mode and we have our armature and then our little fat man here so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to press the fat man, hold down shift, and then right click on the armature in that order, and uh, press control P. This will uh, normally just brings up a parenting menu, but when you have an armature selected, you have different options. You have weight envelopes. When you're doing a really, really advanced mesh, you want to use weight envelopes and custom set. Say this is the arm and define every vertex of the arm because it works a lot better. But for something small and simple, just do it with automatic weights. Then uh, go down here to edit mode and change to pose mode and you can press Z to get our wireframe. 
So now our guy is already rigged and good to go. So if we press on any one of the bones and press R, we can rotate and we can see it moves the mesh along with our bone structure. And everything looks like it's working pretty good. I mean, that's basically all you need to do. I mean, if you want like better bones, like more joints, you know, just add a bone there and make the bones smaller. As you can see, what I did is I only have like, you know, hips, thigh, calf, you know. I didn't really do anything, you know, <laughs> that advanced. You can add fingers and it works all the same. I mostly just do rotate, but I believe you can do G and it will, um, by pressing G usually moves, but it will also um, just rotate. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you need to know about armatures. They're really easy to do once you know how to do them and they can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, every once in a while you'll see something where say you'll be moving this and like the tip of this will be attached to this or something really just bizarre. Uh, whenever that's happening, um, I would just recommend going back to the default stage and making sure your armatures are perfectly aligned with um, your uh, blender man. Uh, oh, and one more thing you guys would probably need to know is when you're actually animating this, so say you're animating your mesh, um, and you're going along and you press I and then go to insert keyframe, right? The problem is is that when you're in pose mode, that's how you edit your individual um, bone, that's how you actually do every individual thing. But in order to save all of the keyframes, all of the object has to be selected, so you have to press tab, um, or my, my bad, you have to have all of the bones selected when you actually um, are making a keyframe like this. So if you make a keyframe now and then move, and I'm just going to move the whole body or something, uh, you can see I'll actually move. But then if you're here and you go down here and move this one and make a keyframe, um, it just moves that one bone. But later on, it can get really messy if, um, so now if you go over here and then move, like you just want to move this bone, right? So if you press R and rotate this bone now, and then insert a keyframe, it's going to start doing it from way back here where you started because when you insert a keyframe, it doesn't insert a keyframe for everything. It just does for the individual bones. So, so you have to make sure you have all of those selected when you do that. Uh, you can also press A to select all of the bones all at once when you're in pose mode. So that's just something to keep in mind. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, just let us know. And always, I uh, hope you guys learned something. Thanks.